Figueroa. Seha lost a decision to Brandon Figueroa. And immediately starting off strong is Molopino contingency here. A big left hook down goes Seha. A pitcher perfect left hook on the button. Overwhelming Julio Seha. Matsayo, though, not looking to rush in because he knows how he too. Manny Pacquiao watching his fighter intently from the locker room area. It is a strong belief that Matsayo is destined to be a world champion. In and he's been hit many times before. He's been dropped. He was dropped and finished off by Hugo. Just over the midway point of the first round. This is scheduled for 12. Double left hook to the that he's been in. He was winning the fight against Rigandau, and then Rigandau turned out his life, quote unquote, deep waters, but he did weigh in four and a half pounds overweight and was the. <laughs> Left hook for Matsayo, and look. Mark Matsayo, he's been working with Freddie Roach for a body year. Rigoberto Hermosillo by split decision in October of last year put on the canvas in the first 30 seconds of the first round oh right on round number two this one is scheduled for 12 power punches landed a bevy of them for Matsayo extremely active Matsayo has nearly doubled and he is far more accurate than that of Seha quick he's got good hand speed Mark Moxayo. We'll see if Moxayo is a durable veteran who this is a good uh, litmus test for Mark Moxayo being 26 years of age being up to add Julio Seja's name to his dossier. Good shots on the inside by Julio Seja to keep coming forward apply the pressure was a shot below the belt an inadvertent shot stiff double left hook to the body he is unloading very quick is the corner of julio seham urging him to go throw the right hand Naxayo spins around seham rid of Twelve. Julio Seham has not won a fight. Uh, last won a fight. He last captured a W back on November 25, 27. Just win, but he's looking to put on a dazzling performance in front of this heavy four-time amateur boxing champion in the Philippines. His last fight. What he told us about working in the gym and was not throwing every say how hurt Maxayo. And now Maxayo with his back on the ropes. He has been in there with some of the best. His plate if he's unsuccessful tonight against Mark Maxayo. Seha aggressive and stalking by Seha. The steps between the two under a minute to go here in the third. Seha, that's what Ismael Salas had been calling for. Pacquiao fights your Dennis Ugas in our main event. A chopping right hand. The rivalry between fighters of Filipino descent and Mexican descent that fair share of legendary matchups against the likes of Barrera, Marquez. Maxayo turned pro one month before his 18th birthday. He's been a pro for seven years and four months. That's sort of been his M.O. He starts strong in... He was able to dispatch Julio Seham. Nice right hand. That... Body in Spanish. There's a left hook by Maxayo. There's a chopping right hand by Julio Seham. You know, Maxayo, it's clear that he respects the power. And in that first round, Maxayo has been unable to land pace and starting to walk down Maxayo. 
Well, say hi is what I would say. But he realizes that the fact that he hasn't won in nearly four years. And but he's still unable to keep Julio Ceja seconds left here in the fourth. I think Matsayo overhand right from Seham. But back comes Matsayo. Matsayo not looking to give up any ground. Mark Matsayo, who is Julio Seja. Total punches through the fourth round. Matsayo, 73 of 261. For a 28% separates them when it comes to being landed. And now Seja is not allowing Matsayo to come forward, and he's making him box off his back. Matsayo unloads. You know, Manny Pacquiao said that he has watched him come from nothing to a world-rated contender. And the one item that Pacquiao said that stuck his dreams become a reality. Well, right now, Matsayo has destiny in his hands because he can punch him in Julio Seja. And Seja's been in. But Kenny Bayless was out of position and did not see it. Er and Seha retaliated. Seha is just one tough dude. From Maxayo. Maxayo's probably thinking. There's a left hook to the body by Seha. And Seha might have hurt Maxayo. And is in considerable trouble. But we are nearing the final 20 plus seconds. Sayo. Oh, down goes Maxayo. Blood streaming from Max. He gets close and bang, that left hook on the button sends Shin and ripping the body of Maxaya. Bang, that left hook dropping from his nose. There is a cut underneath his left eye, but it is significant adversity. How will he be able to handle this as he is dealing with a very de 92 of 257 for a 36% connect percentage? I think if you're Maxayo, you the body of Maxayo. Maxayo sitting down in his punches, a left hook countering. They both are back and forth battles like this, and this one is no exception. At it is the kind of fight where you find out what you are made out of, and Max. Seha with 19 body shots in the round. Oh, big left hook cut on the forehead. I think there is a cut on the forehead of Seha from that left to at least deter Seha from coming forward for a brief moment. Just over the minute to wear down and physically beat up Maxayo. Left hook for Maxayo. Seha pressing Max on the ropes. You leave yourself open to the shorter man to be able of Mark Maxayo. Seha. Double left hook by Maxayo. There's that left hook by Maxayo. That's what I believe it was the left hook, if I remember correctly, that put Seha down in the first round. Or they go, you are taking out his will to fight. Meantime, Freddie Roach telling his people, Maxayo 112 of 397. And if you're Maxayo, use your jeans. Do not allow Seha to close the gap. Seha now and to not allow Matsayo to have an easy target to connect upon. It's, it's almost like a baseball bat hitting a pumpkin when Seha throws and connect. 100 much like what we saw in our last fight with Carlos Castro and develop you and do you self-implode or do you showcase at an elite level and has you in trouble over the course of a fight. And now Matsayo ties up. Oh, now he's got Seha hurt. Seha is hurt. He got wobbled. Considerably hurt, but it could have been a case of Seha being off balance. Under 30 seconds to go. Matsayo 22-0.
turned pro at 17 years of age, assistant to Freddie Roach. Left hook. For Number one contender for the WBC Featherweight Championship currently held by Gary. Massive disparity, Julio Ceja, 80 body shots compared to just that of 21. So Ceja, so Ceja has landed four times the amount of body hit on the inside. But if you're Matsayo, you have to use the right hand, making Ceja chase you all over the ring, but use your athleticism to try to deter Ceja from coming forward. If you're Seha, though, the fact that he's using these angles and he is much motion as he fights, there's a right hand that caught the attention. A couple of right hands by Julio Seha. As a date against Canelo Alvarez in November. Cannot wait for that one. All four major type. Julio Seha. Because of the disparity numerically. At T-Mobile Arena. An entertaining scrap between Mark Maxayo, who's undefeated, and the fighting capital of the world. And it is great to be here in Los Difficult and rugged Julio Ceja, LBC Featherweight Championship of the World. Maxayo said, it is my dream to become a world champion. Maxayo angles and finding a way to attack the body of Maxayo. Now they're in close distance. I don't know what happened there as Maxayo both unloading. Small exchange there. Right to the body by Max of Maxayo. And that hurt Seha. If you notice, Seha was bouncing around. He was in a stationary moment. He's like, Nah, it does have. He's starting to showcase enough power to keep Seha at another right hand. Maxayo starting to land that right hand. And that ends. And for Mark Maxayo that momentarily backed up for 12. The winner of this fight becomes the number one contender to power punches landed through the ninth round. Maxayo 127 of 311 for a 41% KO. Now he comes right back to Seha and now he's unloading. He might have Seha hurt. Beat the left eye of Mark Maxayo. It's been there since about the third round. Highlight real finish. Oh my goodness. Mark Maxayo to get the biggest win of his professional career. Is hurt considerably. But that was absoluteness. The best he's starting to move, but that some tense moment. Taking a look at it again. It was oh my goodness. Absolutely vicious. Sayo started off the round thrown with venomous intentions, but Sayo knew he was over at that point. Oh, and look at the adulation from the Filipino. The athleticism. You know, here's Jimmy. He is the winner of the WBC Featherweight World Title Eliminator and the...